It's your boy Superman 2000. I'm in the fight mobile, man. My voice is back and I'm feeling like a million dollars, baby. <laughs> All right. So now, Dana White, he is upset that Tyrone Woodley won. He's trading verbal jabs with Tyrone Woodley. Tyrone Woodley says, I, I don't know how to put this in context. Okay. Um, Mace Windu meets Emperor Palpatine. Uh, Mace Windu says, your faith. Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it now. So Tyrone Woodley says, my faith will be determined by the Senate. And then Emperor Palpatine, Dana White says, I am the Senate. Are you threatening me, Master Woodley? <laughs> Treason it is. And then he goes, Roar! And they start fighting. That's the only way I could, I could put it in Star Wars context. But this is crazy. This is crazy. Now here's what happened. Dana White is upset because Tyrone Woodley fought the conservative fight and retained his belt. And he thinks that for that effort, that because of that, that conservative fight, people are going to come out and buy pay-per-view fights because it wasn't exciting. But what Dana White doesn't understand is that, hey, listen, man, fighting is a very tactical game. Not every fight is going to be exciting, bloody and gory and that type of stuff. And in Taiwan Willie defense, he has to think long term. Do I take a risk and lose my belt? That I've worked so hard to get? And then knowing that Dana White's already angry at me for the, uh, the race card thing I did. So he doesn't know when he would be able to get another shot at the title if he lost it. Knowing how Dana White rolled, you know, he doesn't want to wind up like, dare I say it, Frankie Edgar on the back burner or Yoel Romero on the back burner. So I don't blame him. Fight the conservative fight, keep your belt, and then when they put a, a person in front of you that you can show, display your full skills, then that's when you do it. But you can't sit Lord Dana White complain and moan and groan and then the next thing is that the Nevada Athletic Commission they came out the commissioner came out and gave a, 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 a at a press conference explained the scoring and the fight rules and that type of stuff right? that's all great but the fact of the matter is you know when these guys fight you know the UFC always say hey we gotta respect the judge's decision well, fine. Respect the judge's decision. When it's in favor of somebody who they like, it's not a problem. No, we saw the fight that Anderson Silva fought, right? How conservative he was, how tactical he was. He went on points. I mean, there was uproar for a couple of days, and then that was it. So, what's the problem now? We saw the fight that Conor McGregor fought with um, Nate Diaz. He was conservative. He dropped him three times and didn't run in for the kill because he knew he would have him taken to the ground. He played it safe and he won by points. Now, what's a big deal that Tyrone Woodley won half points now? I mean, come, come, come on, come, come on here, people. There's lots more fun and excitement in the game. And these new fans, they've never, they don't respect martial arts. A lot of them haven't trained in martial arts. And if you haven't trained in martial arts, at least take some time to, to understand fighting, how it works, the mechanisms and the technique. It's, a, it's an art. And not every fight is going to be spectacular. You know, I've been in fights where I didn't even have to fight. Some do to something, and I give him the look. Like, hey, you don't want this. That's it. I won that fight. So, it, 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 it's very complicated. And you guys need to understand that just because you go and get some beer and popcorn and you, you pay $70 or $80 or maybe even $1,000, that don't give you the right to show that the fighters. This is not boxing. I mean, in boxing, even in boxing, people take the time and be respectful. You know? This, this isn't boxing. You can't just, 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 just say, okay, the crowd is shouting, so now I got to throw a few jabs and move around. And you know, No, no, no. 
This is serious. In boxing, you got two weapons. Okay? In mixed martial arts, you got eight weapons. You know, it, 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 it's, it's very... You have no idea how easy it is to get knocked out. So, that's my two cents for the fans that's going crazy. That's for Dana White. Here's my advice to you, Dana White. Stop being a drama queen. Focus on booking Khabib Ferguson. And let's see if we can hook up Bisping Romero and then GSP Woodley. Because I'm definitely not feeling GSP Bisping. All right, guys. That's my two cents from the fight here. Sorry the video is so long. Hit the round line. What I'm passionate about this thing. You know I love fighting, man. All right, guys. Peace out.